Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel Scorpio. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today Scorpio, this is a love reading. This is a love message for the Scorpio sign. Thank you so much Scorpio for coming back. Thank you so much Scorpio for supporting the channel. This reading for today, this is for you. Let us see what is coming towards you Scorpio. <clears throat> What is the guided message for the Scorpio sign? This is a love reading. This is a love message for the Scorpio sign, please. I want you to think of your person. <clears throat> think of your romantic situation. Think of your person. Visualize them. Think about them. And let's see how they feel towards you. Um, I'm also going to connect with you with regards to your romantic energy so if there's a new love interest in here i will let you know we'll pick up the timeline if possible if it's already available this is for the scorpio sign i am channeling the month of april to may again if i will be able to pick up a specific timeline i will let you know scorpio okay this is a love message this is a love reading for the scorpio sign what is the guided love message, love reading for the Scorpio sign, please? You have the Sun card. You have the Six of Cups. You have the Temperance card, Scorpio. Okay. All right. Let's start the reading, Scorpio. So, <clears throat> you're starting the reading with the Sun card. Um, I feel like the first reading, you have move on, Okay. You have moved on from, I would say, when you think of this romantic person, this romantic situation, you have accepted that it didn't work out, okay? With the sun card in here, you have accepted that it didn't work out. I feel like after you had, uh, after maybe they, they gave you a heartbreak or uh, after the breakup, you went into a glow up okay um i can feel maybe for some of you guys but when you had when you break up with them when you disconnected with them when you when you decided like okay i'm gonna move on from you your career your personal life it blossoms okay with the sun card in here yeah because i think the sun and the moon you've decided to choose You've decided to choose yourself over overthinking, okay? Um, this is the love of your life, you know? Even though you dated for a short period of time, whether this is an ex, I could feel that this is the love of your life. It's unforgettable, but you're so strong. You know, you have outshined the moon. It means that you have banished all of the dark feelings that has generated after the breakup so you managed to pull yourself together scorpio i think the reading you know the <clears throat> the first part of the reading scorpio is to emphasize scorpio that you've gone you've gone through a lot of transformation after that breakup and you're very strong okay it's telling you it's very you're very strong okay now i i could feel that you think of them but not 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 as much as the way you think of them in the past okay like when you think of them oh well you know uh, we separated you know they didn't choose me or what can i do so you're very chill calm and cute <laughs> you're calm cute and collected scorpio so you're chill when you think of this person you're chill life is good you're looking good you glow up for some of you you're about to have a hair color for some of you guys you're thinking of uh, more and more taking care of yourself, taking care of your life. Now, this person, Scorpio, because we're in Mercury, Mercury retrograde, they think of you now versus you think of them. <clears throat> okay, the Six of Cups. Okay, um, this is a romantic interest where, well, if it's meant to be, it will be. But you want them to go back to you full. Okay. No third party, no this, no that. You want full because you're the sun. Because you manner, you are a Scorpio that you manage to self-center. Like you center your life to your values, to self-love, self-care. And also you manage to 
I don't know, but there's something celebratory about your success, about your career. I mean, I would I would say your life is not bad. It's actually good. So you're centered to yourself. Now, I would say you're ready to fall in love, Scorpio. You're ready to fall in love. Um, with the Six of Cups, this romantic person thinks of you more than you think of them, Scorpio, with the Six of Cups in here. Um, yeah, Ace of, Ace of Wands. I think this person, you know, this person is going through your social media account or the social media account of your friends to find information about your whereabout, okay? Like your, where are you right now? Are you single? Are you dating? Like what's going on in Scorpio's life? They, they, they're even stalking your friends, your family, your friend, your friends, your family. Like you know, people who's close to you, they're stalking uh, those people to have an idea where you are. With the Three of Cups, the Temperance card, the Three of Cups, only a matter of time, Scorpio. There's someone, there's someone in the past who is very confident, Scorpio, that I will return. Yeah, Seven of Swords. Look at that. Seven of Swords, Queen of uh, Seven of Swords, Queen of Swords. I think with the Queen of Swords and Seven of Swords, they escape you. They manage to escape something, or they escape you, but they will return in a Queen of Swords. Okay, like this person right now strongly thinks of I want to date you again, Scorpio. For some reason, this person is like they want the approval of society. Okay. Because it's the Queen of Swords. I'm hearing the word legit, legitimate. I'm hearing the word. Um, there's something with this person that, you know, Seven of Swords. I have break your heart, Scorpio. I didn't choose you. I run away. I escape you. Now I want to come back with the Queen of Swords. More official, more legitimate. Okay. So they're very righteous. Okay. And this is strongly an April month energy, Scorpio. They have a letter G. A letter T and I'm hearing the word C so there's a like I'm seeing like water maybe this person likes to swim but C S E A I'm he I'm seeing that you know spelled and then water maybe this person is a diver but they like to swim and this person they have a unique piercing and um, this person has they, they have a good speaking voice scorpio with queen of swords seven of swords in here so um when you think of this person you want them but you want them full you know like um you're also open with with you this overall overall energy you're open to new love you're open to person from the past especially this person it looks like a soulmate but you know they've got to be perfect i would say for you you're aiming for someone available emotionally, someone who will be loyal, probably official and legitimate. That's why, because somehow this person knows that I want to come back with Scorpio and I, I want to offer Scorpio legitimate, something official, Scorpio. They're very, like they know that you would reject them if they would be giving you again the same energy. Whoever this person is, they're very righteous, okay? Like, they don't want to disappoint you. They want to make things official, legitimate. I'm also hearing the word. Uh, they're very righteous, Scorpio. This person is aware, somehow energetically, uh, Scorpio, this person is aware that you have moved on from the past, okay? Like you're no longer, you're less angry or upset or disappointed. They can feel that. All right, now... Let's pick up more intuitive message for you, Scorpio, okay? Love breathing, love message for the Scorpio sign. I think this person, they were born January, okay? I'm hearing the word January. Okay, now we have a page of swords. You have the hermit card. You have the five of swords. So, the second reading, Scorpio... The Page of Swords, the Hermit card, the Five of Swords. The second reading, you're waiting for this person. Okay, so the first reading, you could, you could be, you could be, you know, you could connect here or connect here, but the the first reading is specifically for a Scorpio who 
I'm chill. If you come to me, you're respectful, you're loyal, I'll entertain you. If you don't bring me consistency, go away. So you're kind of in th this sun card in here. The second reading, it looks like this is this is applicable to Scorpio energy. I think this is recently, okay? This could be somewhere three to six months ago because there's a little bit of, you know, um, I could feel that you're still disappointed that this person ghosted you. Uh, they didn't reply. They didn't respond. Like, this is a very strong unfinished business. And the way it's unfinished business, it's sad. Okay, like you're sad that it went to an unfinished business or up in the air. You're waiting for them. In fact, for some of you, um, for some of you guys, you're looking into the calendar and you're counting the days like, okay, it's been one week or two weeks or three weeks. For some of you, this person, you're even like, okay, it's Mercury retrograde. Maybe they're going to contact me. So I'm feeling it here. So you're very, you're very in tune with your, um, you're very connected to the ether, Scorpio. When it comes to romance, you're very connected to astrology, tarot. You're very in tune with the ethers, you know. Um, and the way you're connecting with the ethers is that somehow you're manifesting that they, I hope they call me. I hope they text me with the Page of Swords. But there's a sadness, okay, Scorpio. Like, there's a sadness in the way you wait with the Page of Swords in here. Like, there is a pinch of your heart. Like, there's a pinch in your heart when you wait for this person or romantic situation. Mm -hmm. um, you know, for some of you guys, the second reading, you have to move, you have to travel, like you have entertained yourself to forget about this person. So for some of you, you have to travel, you have to be out and about, uh, connect with your friends, connect with your family. Like you've gone through a lot of, you've gone through a lot of, entertaining and adventurous things that you did in order to forget this person i think your way of moving on is you have been out and about like you've traveled in here um there's pain there's still pain and hurt when you think of this person but not so much compared during the time you were separated or disconnected or break up uh but almost gone but there's still a sadness inside of you and i feel like that sadness when you think of this person is more of like because you, you still like them that's why you're sad that you know when you think of them when you access them in your heart you're still sad that you're not together um more than that i don't think you're very very angry the second reading it's more of i'm sad because it didn't work out you know but i don't think you're angry anymore or upset anymore because you traveled like this wheel of fortune it's speaking to me that you traveled you move on you, you you did a lot of activity to forget about them so it's one way to release the anger the frustration but you know there is sadness in in you when you think of this person as someone younger you could be dealing with someone younger now with a judgment card um, it's possible, Scorpio, that this person is someone, maybe they have, maybe there's a third party, maybe there is, um, it could be that there is, like, kids involved or ex involved in here, um, your person, your, your, the Page of Swords, Hermit card, your person, they have repressed their feelings towards you, okay, they have, they've decided, because, you can feel because you're, you're very connected. The second reading, Scorpio, you're very connected to ethers. You're very intuitive. You're very connected to your energy. It comes to me. You're very connected to, you have a direct connect. Like you're very intuitive that you could feel in the air, in the ether, Scorpio, that this person is still, still thinking about you. And you are correct. This person, they have not even processed the feelings. So just, they just kept it. Okay, like you are someone that, okay, break up or separate or disconnected. And let me just figure things out with this judgment card. I think the judgment card is going to be like third party, ex, kids. These are, this is a major, this is the major block between the two of you. It could also be long distance. So they, they're facing this when you break up, separated, disconnected. They're facing a lot of problem, a lot of, um, I don't know, but they're facing something that is separating them to be with you whether it's family it's ambition or responsibility or 
third party, but they're separate. They, they're being they. This is separating you um, from them. This judgment card now. In April, May, moving towards the um, year 2024, this person is going to go through a five of swords. It means that they probably betrayed you, Scorpio, for a reason. Or they probably, it's giving me a vibe that, okay, I hurt you, Scorpio, or I disappointed you, I betrayed you. Now, this five of swords, they're going to use the same energy to escape or to solve the problem. Because... I don't know, it's giving me a vibe that this could be a third party. Because Five of Swords, I betrayed my Scorpio for this, and I'm not happy. So I'm going to fix this, do a Five of Swords. It means that they're going to do a shortcut to remove this judgment card because it's blocking them to be with you. Like they have to leave you to realize that this is this is the culprit. Like the, there's someone out there who, this is the main culprit. Like this is the reason why. I cannot be with Scorpio. This main problem. I'll do a five of swords. So they're, they're going to do something behind the back access to remove this. It's going to be quick. Okay. Like this could be something around Eclipse because I'm really picking up your, your person. It could be a Virgo. But, you know, with the Hermit card, um, they've been hermited. It means that they've been sitting in this problem for a very long time. So probably around the Eclipse. The April 8th, this person is going to do like a five of swords. Like, get rid of this because I'm done with this. I've sacrificed a lot. One of the people I sacrifice is the one that I love. is my Scorpio. So, they're going to get rid of this. To have a clean, a clean slate in their life and remove this block, accept Scorpio. So, you, you've got someone who, I would say Scorpio, you have identified this. You've identified them as one of your soulmates except that you cannot be together because of this whether it's family or a, something could be it's a huge block they're gonna get rid of that okay this person's not enough i'm gonna do a five of swords i'm gonna get rid of this you know like kalas you know like a finish done i'm done with this i'm gonna get rid of this and just go on with my Scorpio because I think they didn't prioritize you or they didn't prioritize their feelings towards you so they're gonna get rid of that okay yes they're gonna take a risk thank you spirit sometimes it's so hard to put the words to what I feel intuitively to describe it but you know the full card is in here and it's telling me that whoever this person is they're gonna take a risk they're gonna take a leap of faith look at that. this is them the volcano is here like you know forget about this fire this volcano i have follow society i follow this and you forget about that it's all about me now in short your person is going to be selfish and they're going to follow their heart so you might have some contra vida you might have some people who dislike you because this person is going to go after you now okay but your person doesn't care i think the reason why you're separated because they were following some sort of rule but they're going to break the rule in some ways that you don't expect it but the thing is it's your person going to fix it like if, if there's some sort of things that they need to work out it's going to be them and all they want like they're going like this is a person scorpio who will adjust everything in their life because in the past they got rid of you they didn't pursue you because they were adjusting their life because of this now it's not gonna be it's not like that i'm gonna i'm not gonna adjust myself to a problem this is the problem i'm not gonna adjust myself to this problem the problem get rid of it and then i'll, I'll get my life back and they're very connected to you life life is you so i think you and this person is entering a cycle where you're you're less likely to hate them the Spain and this person is more like I'm gonna take a risk I'm gonna take a leap of faith Scorpio maybe this person wears glasses Scorpio maybe they, they wear glasses um, this is what I have for you Scorpio thank you so much for connecting with me thank you so much Scorpio for supporting the channel this is your love reading this is your love message and um, I will be uploading the weekly collective reading in the main channel so also follow me there and please don't forget to click the bell and click the subscribe button. If you click the subscribe button, Scorpio, you're giving me the energetic permission to connect with you. And who knows, one day I'm going to be spot on. And that is me. Thank you again, guys. 
you have a great day and um, i'll see you soon take care scorpio bye bye